In this video, I'm going to show you how we can cheat at Flexbox Froggy. We're going to do this by using the Chrome Developer Tools to inspect the page. If you're having trouble with one of the levels, this is a great way to get a hint. Plus, you can feel like a hacker. This is Coding with Adam, and let's get to the code. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, like, and share. To get the answer for each level, all we have to do is open up our developer tools. So I'm using Chrome over here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the three dots here, click on more tools, and then developer tools. When you first open up your developer tools, you may be on a different tab. There's elements, console, source, network. And what the developer tools does, is it gives us insight into how the HTML is working and the network traffic and lots of other information, including how the page is styled. Now from here, let's go ahead and select elements. And you might have this little window here at the bottom that is a secondary console. What you can do with that is go ahead and click the X button to gain a little bit more space. The tab that we're interested in is the Elements tab. So this is where all the HTML is. What we're going to do is we're going to click on this little selector over here. You see it highlights blue, and then when I hover my mouse over the page, it starts selecting the HTML and changing what we see in the elements. So it's jumping right to that HTML. We're going to go ahead and click on the pond. When we look at the pond, we'll see that there's a div, and inside that div, we have our frog. However, if we look beside the pond, there's a background in the same place. That background is responsible for placing the lily pad on the page. So we can see the lily pad over here. And what it's doing is it's actually using Flexbox to position that lily pad. Well, it's the same Flexbox content that we need to use for our frog. So we can just copy whatever is done for the lily pad to the frog. It's just as simple as that. So for this simple example over here of level one, we can see that the lily pad is being moved using justify content flex end. So all we have to do is either copy it from the HTML over here and paste it in or type it and you can see that we get the right answer. To prove that this hack works, let's take a look at the last level of Froggy, one of the most complex levels. We need to get these yellow frogs over here onto the left side, this red one at the bottom, these green ones over here. Let's see how we can quickly get that solution. However, we're probably not going to understand it because we're cheating. We'll go ahead and open up our developer tools again. And then from our developer tools, we'll use our element selector to select the pond. And we can see the background and how the lily pads have been arranged using Flexbox. Now they're using FlexFlow, which is shorthand. And we're doing column reverse and wrap reverse. So let's go ahead and grab that property right there. We'll grab the first one. So we'll just do one at a time. So you can see our green frogs are on the right. And so is the red in the bottom. And our yellow frogs just need to be moved over. Well, the second item that they have in the list over here after the semicolon is place content, another shorthand. So we'll go ahead and paste that in over there and we've solved the solution. However, we haven't really learned anything, but we have learned how to hack Flexbox Froggy and use the Chrome developer tools. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell.